Today I'm going to show you how to wrap text around an image in Canvas so that you can create pages that have uh, a similar style to this one here. Alright, so first I've started with just creating a new page and giving it a title and then we want to put in some text. find an image to put in here and I'll even just go ahead and put in that animated GIF All right so I'll put it in here um, now of course I need to actually change up some things here is you know way too big uh, of an image to have in there so I'm gonna come in here to the image options I'm gonna make this maybe maybe 30% of the size and then, um, actually, I'm going to leave this alone for right now because I want to show you something else with this. So there we go. That's a pretty good size. And then I'm going to start inputting some text. And honestly, I've gone ahead and and um, you know, created some text, copy and paste it over here. You know, and then we'll, we'll actually put in some more. All right. Okay. So I'm like, all right, great. I've got some text in there. And if I hit save, right? I mean, my image is in there and my text is in there, but this looks really cruddy to try to read, right? And that's because it's not set, um, it's because the image is set in line with the text. And so the text will only you know, run alongside it until it then comes un underneath, right? So I need to wrap that text to make it uh, really just to make the pet page not only just more pleasing, but, but actually just sort of really more legible, right? So what I need to do is click on the image to highlight it, right? So it has this blue um, outline. And up here, Right, we typically use things like alignment for text, but you can actually click on this and it will um, it'll go ahead and tell uh, the system to actually wrap the text around the image, right? By putting it to the to the left. It is flush up, right? The words are just flush up against that moving image. And so we want to to give it some space around that text wrapping. And so there's a little something we need to do on the, the the back side of things right on the the side of things with the code so we want to come down here to this little um, icon here to change up to go into the HTML editor right so remember any kind of thing that we see on the computer that you know the sort of what you see what is what you get it's actually all on the back side of it has code and so it really looks like this here and so what I need to find is my image, right? And so IMG here stands for image. So within this area, I know that, that within these brackets, uh, and, and it's nice because in the in this sort of uh, what they call pretty HTML, right, it, it gives some color coding so that you can see these things a little easier. Sometimes you might actually see it just like this in, in the rich, uh, I mean, just in the raw uh, HTML, right? So still, I want to find this little IMG, Right, this ID is going to tell me like which image on my system that is finding, and then I need this here, the style, okay, and so it's telling me okay, it's floating to left, it's been aligned to the left, um, and so what I need here though is a little bit of information to tell it I want some space around the image where the text does not um, butt right up against it. So what I need to do is put in a little coding and um, let me make this a little bigger so you can see it better. All right, so here we are. It's telling it to, to align it to the left. And then after this semicolon and um, still within the, the uh, quotation marks here, I need to put in a little bit more. Here. So I'm going to say padding. And then I need this uh, colon here. Right, that will tell it that it's going to apply whatever's next for you know to padding, and so I'm going to say um, I want say 10 pixels. Right, I want I want a 
10 pixel barrier of space between the image and any text. Right? So when I do that, and all I have to do is just you know change it back here to the um, to the rich uh, view, right? Is now you can see that there's this space. So I can save that.